Hey guys, Rusty here at Ugly HP. Today we are gonna put a EGR and a 04 F350 with a six liter. <clears throat> um, I wasn't normally gonna make this video. Let me see if I can get better lighting for you guys. But <clears throat> I came across, uh, I had a hard time figuring this out because it said you had to use a puller. I know I did one of these before without a puller, before I knew anything. So I already have it unbolted. It's just two little eight millimeters. They want you to pull the whole throttle intake piece out. You gotta spin this thing counterclockwise. So I just took my screwdriver, put it down in here behind that ear, and spun it. Now the only reason you do that is so that the puller can grab one of those ears. But here's the trick I use. I let it sit overnight. I sprayed some PV blaster down the side just to loosen up the carbon buildup. And we are going to see if this thing will <coughs> come out pretty smooth or not. Let's see if I can get that. Let me find my tool that I have. Basically, uh, I'm going to have to move the camera again. I'm going to use a brake spoon. Let me see if I could get that right there. And I'm going to I'm going to put it under this ear on the passenger side. And I'm going to put a flathead screwdriver under the intake on this side and I'm just going to twist sometimes they're a little bit harder than this this one's moving and there we have it so we got our, not too bad, but there is <laughs> some build up, a lot of build up in here. <clears throat> We're gonna wanna loosen up all these, all this stuff in these chambers. <sighs> now you can use a vacuum to try to suck it down or you can take a, a gun and shove down in there and put a lot of pre air pressure on it. Now when you put your new one in, you don't have to do the whole twist thing. Like I said, the, the twist was just to, so the puller would reach it. When you put your new one in, just put a little bit of oil on the O-rings and just slide it down in there. Don't try to force it down with the bolts and uh, bolt it on and, and there you go. Like I said, I really wasn't going to make a video on this because we have been slammed here, but it's early in the morning. I figure I could do a real quick tip on these this diesel EGR. Because, uh, like I said, they want you to pull all this stuff off, and the only reason they want that is so you have room for your puller. But you really don't need a puller. Unless that thing will not come out after sitting with the spray on it. And then you might have to pull this stuff off and get that puller to... Uh, finish getting it out uh, <clears throat> sorry we couldn't do a whole video on it but we'll get some more and it's been slammed here bike week in Daytona you know but check us out on Facebook hit the like button subscribe and as always keep wrenching